<laughs> anyway, looks like Larva's back in the booth, so we'll be underway shortly. Man, you guys are harsh. I don't think I've ever rated lower than 3 star, so maybe I'm just like way too generous. My scale goes from 3 to 5. One or two star games don't exist. It's StarCraft, man. It's, it's Brutor. How can a one or two star game exist? As soon as you enter the game, by default, it's a minimum of three stars, right? Anyway, game number two. We are on Electric Circuit, I believe. Yeah, that's right. Wait! Oh man, they go in the first person view straight away. I don't know why, it's not that interesting. I mean, sure, we're gonna watch some like, send probes to mine. But now I can't see the positions, or the colors. Actually, I assume the colors are the same, so... Jangby is gonna be P11, and I don't know what Larva is. Maybe they showed it before and I wasn't paying attention. It's too busy just like, reading about all you guys, how you guys are so mean and horrible. And one star in games. I bet you guys was one star blogs too. You're just terrible people. Ugh. <clears throat> what if the game is very horrible? I don't know. Then I just like don't rate. <laughs> then I, I abstain. If the game is legitimately terrible, I just abstain. Let's pretend it never happened. Let's close my eyes. It'll all go away. <laughs> See, maybe, maybe maybe I've just been traumatized by like the Asian upbringing, you know? You know, if it's not 5 star, then it's just terrible. <laughs> See, so now, now 1 star and 2 star don't even exist in my consciousness. It's too bad to be true. Anyway. What do we got going on here? Cross spawns, forge practice, fast expand. That's an interesting positioning for that pylon. I don't know quite how far to the right he can make the gateway. Presumably it's good enough. Actually, it looks like he can probably make the gateway like right up to here, which is gonna be pretty legit. That's actually a pretty legit wall. I quite like that. And the pylon's gonna be like impossible to snipe too. Anyway. By the way, uh, I should have noted this also. Um, Jangby didn't scout with the pylon probe, he just went uh, blind forge nexus, uh, which I'm pretty sure is safe against everything against, uh, except a 9 pool, right? So I think this was an over pull, I, I'm sorry, I really was just not paying attention at the beginning here, but I think this was an over pull from Larva, so I think he's gonna be fine, so, especially because it's cross map, right? Um, so, so yeah, that's gonna be good. Man, I'm really digging that pylon positioning. Electric Circuit is one of those maps that's pretty hard to wall uh, effectively. Um, especially if you don't have a wall prepared. If you just try to wing it, it's so easy to just like block yourself and not be able to make a building somewhere. And just like, oh god, this is terrible. But Jangby definitely knows what's up here. Now, the thing is though, Electric Circuit was in use when Jangby, you know, in the last season of, of Brood War and Pro League and OSL and stuff. So Jangby, I'm sure, had plenty of practice on this map. Uh, when he was, you know, an active pro gamer, so so he, I imagine, knows all the good walls and stuff. <clears throat> anyway, Larva has taken the six o'clock as his third. Really liking this. You know, you know what? I've, it seems that you know, in when I, when we saw this map played in pro league, in ZVP, Zergs would often take the back mineral only with their third hatch. But I feel like in the Sospa games, Zergs are more often taking a third gas base, like I think they should. So. I don't really know what the logic of the pro gamers was, but I feel like this is better. Like it's probably not because pro gamers definitely know better than amateurs and and me, but I don't know. I like this better anyway. Oh, he's gonna do moving shot. Yeah, no, no, no. That would have been so beautiful. That was so cool because obviously drones can do moving shot and certain things can't. So he would have just chased down that probe. Oh, that would have been so good. Oh man, Larva, good effort though. Good effort, Larva. <laughs> I would have been so happy if that probe died, that would be really cool. Sorry, I'm, I'm getting worked up over the little things. But you see, you see, it's like, see, this is why a game will never be lower than three stars. See, that move by itself guarantees a minimum of three stars for this game. Boom. 
Um, anyway. So, Zerini is going to have to pull back now. Um, I don't think it'll be nearly as easy to do that speeding run by shenanigans uh, against that wall that Jambi has. That's actually a super awesome tight wall. Uh, and it blocks on the bottom too, so if he tries to run by into the main, he's going to be taking cannon fire the full way. And we got a goon blocking now as well. Hey! And we've got... Plus one. Corsairs. Ooh, two star! Two star Corsairs. Gotta be really careful though. Hydra buffs are... Well, in Pro League they were pretty common on this map. And if you go two star Corsair and you get Hydra buffs, there's basically nothing you can do about it. Um, but it doesn't look like Lever's doing that. And Jangby's kept his probe alive for a really long time, so you can see this. So, it's all good. And the probe is still alive. Oh, but Zogami Speed finishes, so now it's not going to be alive. Wait! Uh, so it's interesting to see what Jangby's going to do on this map. I hope he does Corsair Reaver. Yes! Yes! Yes, Jangby! Oh man, Jangby, if you pull off a Corsair Reaver here, even if you don't win, if you just do a good game, I will forgive you for playing badly in game one. Not that, not that he needs my forgiveness or anything, but you know, you know, just in case. Just give him that peace of mind. I will forgive all his transgressions. Because Sarah Reaver is awesome. Oh yes, two star Sarah Reaver. Um, and and Larva in fact is taking his backman only. So Larva, if you just look at the minimap, is going to be pretty spread out here in defending all his bases. And not only that, but there's like the pathing bug, pathing issue in the back there. So it's very easy. Like if he has to keep scrambling and running around to all his different bases, I feel like it's going to be easy for him to also just like lose a few units here in the back and just have him stuck. Be a bit. A bit problematic. Um, now hopefully though Jangby does control his Corsairs a little bit better than he did last game. He went for plus one Corsairs off one Stargate last game. Did a decent job with them at various points. Did kill a good number of Overlords but in the beginning you know the control was still a little bit shaky and then you know at some points it seems his, multi his multitasking wasn't quite up to the task so he ended up you know suiciding a lot of them while they were just off doing their own thing. A moving into spore colonies or something. You know, the Scourge is going to get picked off, but they are going to see exactly what's going on. So now Lar Larva knows. I don't know if Larva saw the two Stargates uh, or not, but he knows it's Sarah Reaver. So, um, so he's going to start preparing himself for that. Might even get Burrow, do some awesome Burrow traps. That would be very, very cool to watch. Anyway. <clears throat> so we're going to have some spores on the way, but oh no! Oh no! The spores and the hydras are not in time! Oh god, that's like five overlords. If they die. Yes, they will all die. Scourge dying as well. Oh, that is painful. Oh man, Larva was not prepared for that. He saw the Sarah Reaver. He was not prepared for this many Corsairs. See, this is what happens. See, this is the difference between 1 star and 2 star. See, if this was like last game and it's just 1 star Corsair, I think Larva's sudden uh, Hydro production right now, well not sudden, but his Hydro production now would have been good enough, I think, to keep a lot more Overlords alive. Because it was 2 star, look how many Corsairs there are so ridiculously fast. And Larva can't even really do a big counterattack either. I mean, it's cross map, and there's already a Reaver out. Um, looks like Wondro busy mining away the back mineral there, so he so Pro can't get tricked through or anything. But uh, but this is just really devastating. And it looks like uh, Jambi not going to commit there. And looks like Random Zorgling going to get taken down by the Reaver. I'm um, going to be a little bit careful leaving the Reaver at the front like that. Generally, that's not a good idea. It's easy for them to get sniped. But in this case, since there's no units out on the map anyway, I guess it's okay. And Jangby now continues to be active. Definitely doing a much better job, it looks like, this game. Um, you know, keeping the Corsairs pretty stacked and, uh, and and just moving around, avoiding the Hydras. Looks like now getting his back only. See, this is one of the reasons why it's good to... Uh, good to say Reaver on this map, because you get a free mineral only in your back, uh, in the back of your base. It's kind of similar to Andromeda in that regard, um, which was also a pretty good map for Ser Reaver. Although there's no island base on this map, which, which made it even better on Andromeda. Anyway, uh-oh. Uh-oh, are we going to go after these? Oh, we are! There's not that many Hydras there. Jamie, I think he should have just committed there and just killed a whole bunch of Overlords. Maybe he doesn't want to. I, I guess, on the other hand, he does want to keep a lot of these alive. Oh man, but we have a Burrow Trap here. There are the Hydras. Oh man, Jamie's not paying attention. He can't get away. The shuttle's being targeted. Oh god, that did absolutely nothing. Wow, man, and that was really slow, poor reaction there by Jangby. He ba he dropped the Reaver and then went and did something else. Like, he went back to his base to Macro. Oh, catching the shuttle! Yes, Larva, that's what I'm talking about. That was good. That was very, very good. Man, but seriously, I... 
you when you do that when you do that initial reaver drop i don't know there's like really no good reason not to be microing that because i mean it's just it's, i mean come on man it's like it's your first reaver like the, the shuttle shouldn't have stopped it should have been moving so there's no because the shuttles obviously have acceleration and deceleration time so if the shuttle kept moving it could have just picked up the reaver and left if he was paying attention but he just dropped it there and did something else and then just came back and it was too late so that was terrible um, but at least he's kept his Corsairs alive. But now he's got to get another shuttle. I hope he's got shuttle speed. Or rather, he's researching shuttle speed. Because um, he's still he's still getting the Reavers. But, uh, but yeah, having that first Reaver do nothing is pretty painful when you're going Sarah Reaver. Uh, but at least he's able to keep up on the bases now. Oh man, why is he flying around around his own base, man? He should be going away from his base, you know, away from the Hydras there. Ooh, it looks like there was a, a DD match to sneak into the main. I'm not quite sure how that got into the main. But uh, a big burrow on the drones prevents all but, uh, rather, yeah, keeps all but two of them alive. Totally couldn't figure out how to word that sentence. And uh, and looks like we're actually just going to fly the shuttle out without Corsair production, which doesn't seem like a great idea. But Larva seems to be investing mostly in doing awesome Hydra traps instead of just making Scourge. Oh, he's going DT too! DT Reaver combo, I like this. He can drop the DT in the main and go Reaver Harass somewhere else, so while Larva's distracted by the Reaver Harass, the DT just kills everything. Pretty co uh, common combo here. Although, no, he's actually just pulling back. Just like elevators the DT in and just leaves. Man, that's. Alright, this is a pretty passive set reaver. But then again, Larva's being so awesome with his defense, uh, defensive hydro positioning that I'm not really sure what else he can do. I think he should just go and expand and take the 12 and just defend with the reavers. I don't know. I mean, he's got the shuttle speed, but Larva's just so awesomely defended that I, I don't think it's worth it to risk the reaver again. Oh, oh, the borrowed hydras are spotted. <laughs> He's got obs now. I'm not really sure what they were there to, to snipe. Maybe they could have popped up and sniped the High Templar or something. That would have been quite cute. Anyway, hydras coming out again though, so Jamie just pulls back completely. Jamie just playing real scared here. Um, actually, no, I don't think that's fair because, you know, he did invest a lot of money in the Sairs and the Reavers, so his ground army is relatively small. Uh, and he also, you know, went for the, the third in his back, so... Um, so just compared to, you know, Larva's Grand Army of Hydra and Lurker, I think it's probably safer to just hide behind the cannon wall for a little bit longer. At least Jangby thinks that that's the case, and, you know, I don't completely disagree with him. So, yeah, I think that's fine. But, you know, the problem is that Larva's now just, you know, doing whatever he wants, because he really hasn't been harassed much at all. So he's already got his Hive, he's getting his file amount on the way. I'm a little bit surprised he hasn't expanded again. I feel like he, I mean, he's building two more hatcheries in his main. He could just build someone, one somewhere else, and he's getting a 3 o'clock now. But, you know, one common thing response to Sarah Reaver is to expand like crazy because you know the Protoss' ground army isn't going to be that big for a while. So a little bit surprised that that 3 o'clock base isn't going up sooner. Um, it's actually like still not even started yet, but uh, I think Larva is still in a pretty solid position in this game. Anyway, we got a lot of zealots here in this composition, which is obviously going to happen when you have a mineral only base. Um, as long as he make positions the Reavers and Storms well, um, he should be okay. He looks like he's getting a little bit stuck in his base. He wants to move out here before he gets contained, although in this case, having two Reavers means that uh, it's a little bit easier to deal with contains, but still got to be a little bit careful. I hope that his actual control here, the large army control, is slightly better than the last game. Uh, although it looks like, no, actually, uh, I thought Larva had more Lurkers at the front here, but it looks like actually not. He just had a few Hydras, just gonna pull those back, so it's not really contained. Um, just had a few units at the front, just to put on some pressure. Okay, there the Lurkers come in the back. Looks like they were just not quite morphed yet. But, uh, the Protoss Army is now moving out, and that's a pretty significant Protoss Army. I gotta say, Jangby, despite some very questionable control, uh, seems to be macroing pretty solidly. Uh, building up that nice big army, although, to be fair, he hasn't really been doing too much else anyway, so... You'd hope he'd at least have, uh, have been macroing it. Uh-oh, here we go, the army's moving in. Jamie doesn't seem to want to engage, no, he's just pulling back slightly to reposition, but really wants to hold the position, I think, so he can get the 12 o'clock. I do not think he should pull back again, really should just commit here, and yeah, it looks like uh, he is going to stand his ground. And that's not really a great angle for the Zerg to attack into, he'd be slightly funneled, he can't really get a flank there. Um, it's a little bit difficult to flank on the edges of Electric Circuit, even though the middle is quite open. There's a lot of like these like random uh, bits of impassable ground that you can see here in the, on the along the edges of the map. Um, not really the edges, but around the middle area. You can see there's just like little gaps, 
so you can't actually flank like this position very very easily and when there's two reavers and a bunch of storms in the protoss army you really need to be getting a giant arc and flanking the protoss otherwise you're just gonna have a bad time and it's like 1-1 for the zerg against 2-0 for the protoss pretty normal upgrade disparity um, and in the meantime, let's say we have some Zerglings. Oh, very nice move by Larva here. Gonna run around with about two control groups of Zerglings. Counterattacking and denying the 12 o'clock expansion. He's actually forced the entire Protoss army back here just with two groups of Zerglings. So really buying himself a ton of time and gonna force a cancel on the Nexus. Really, really effective move right here. So, so, so worth it for just the two groups of Lings. I do not think the entire Protoss army should have moved back for this. I think just a control group, uh, not even control group, just, you know, maybe eight Zealots could have dealt with that. Because um, he has the upgrade advantage there uh, with plus two uh, attack against plus one carapace, but it looks like in the meantime a speed shuttle did move out. I'm gonna try to do some harassment here at the three o'clock. Not gonna happen. Um, but you know this, even though even though Lara's been defending pretty well so far. Oh, is this a storm drop or a reaver drop? It's a DT drop. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Yeah, man, I don't know why Jangby thought this would work. Because Larva's been so on the ball with this defense, and that's so expensive. Like, 40 ETs is ridiculously expensive. And it basically just did nothing. Ah, plague! Oh my god! I completely forgot that the Defilers were already out. Oh my god, that was absolutely massive. Oh, and he plagues again! He gets both the Reavers and the Shuttle, Jesus. Oh man, Jangby. Jangby is having a bad day right now. Oh god. That was horrible, and Jangby's at the point where he hasn't even got any Archons yet, he's still in this like mid-game composition of mainly Zealot, Goon, Templar, so the plagues are just going to be that much more devastating to him. Ugh, man. Anyway, oh man, look at the minimap, look at the minimap, look at that giant Zerg swarm coming in here against the Protoss holding out in this tiny little ball. Oh man, super cost-efficient. Uh, storms and Reaver Shrouds, but it doesn't matter, there's just too much stuff, and Jangby wiped off the face of the map, GG, Larva, two O's, the OSL champion, and goes on to the winner's match, Jangby,